Hello everybody, Fixer here, and I have a new game for you today called The Dark Side Detective. It just released on Steam, developed and published by Spooky Doorway. I think this is their first game? I'm not 100% sure on that. It's the only one they have on Steam, at least. And you can get it for 10 bucks. I've been following the dev for a little while on Steam. They've been posting screenshots here and there, and I, I love the art style. You know me, I love pixel art. And what drew me to this game is, is I don't know... I guess it's a 40s feel to it. It feels kind of pulpy, weird fiction, maybe even a little HP Lovecraft. And I totally dig that, obviously. Huge Lovecraft fan. The soundtrack is done by Ben Primty, I think was his name. And he was the guy who did the FTL soundtrack, which is an all-time great. And, and of course, those two things, the, the style, the pixel art, the pulpy 40s type feel to this game, and... And um, the soundtrack is what drew me to it. So here we are. I understand this is pretty short, so don't expect this to be more than maybe five episodes. I don't care as long as it's good. I like short games if they're good. Fine, give it to me. I'm 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 with that. All right. So here we are, Mr. McQueen. That is us. And I got case files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malice in Wonderland. So are these like are these levels? Do I just start one? Case summary. The chief has sent me into the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Sure. Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click to examine items or talk to characters. And this this goes this does work out to be somewhat of a point and click. Just so we're clear ahead of time, because I know some people don't like point and clicks, but I think um I think this is gonna be exciting. Left click on inventory items for more information. Drag items into the scene to use. Drag items into each other to combine. Okay, classic point and click stuff. Maybe we'll see how much moon logic there is. Right click to skip dialogue. McQueen can sometimes wear items. Your progress is auto saved as you play. Malice in Wonderland. Sweet. I'm excited. I was really looking forward to something new to put on my channel. Even though I got some series going, I ended a few, and I got some that are kind of stagnant that I need to fix up, but I needed something new. And here we are. Officer Dooley. Um, whoa, I almost shot you there. Detective, you shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I have my siren on. This is, um, there's a lot of comedy in this too. Um, at least... I got that from watching the, the trailer. It, it seemed like there was some comedy in there. He waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, Detective. Great, let's get started. Awesome. Can I get back in my car? Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popomoto. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in the rain stops being fun for you. Alright, what do we got up here? Oh. Inventory. I? Or do I just not... So, can I walk anywhere? No. I guess we're going inside then. Roy Jones, Officer Dooley? Why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? And that's the uh, Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes Finest, eh? Yes, and, and also that. This city is called Twin Lakes, so we got ourselves the Twin Peaks vibe. In spoilers, Twin Peaks is supernatural, even though it doesn't... It's not that way for, like, eight episodes. So, Twin Peaks, HP Lovecraft, I'm on. You got me signed up. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy, that's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Well, thankfully, Detective, I am really around my kid. Alright, I have a feeling this is going to be not just funny, but a little goofy. So, how can I help you, Detective? Ooh, we get choices! 
Um, tell me about Alice. Ah, I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here. Somewhere. God. Uh, how come you didn't notice she was missing? Well, I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. Well, actually, it is. You need an alibi, you jerk. I also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique? Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. What? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? I received matches! And I received a frozen game. Oh, no, it was just lag. These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on the father stakes. Alright, so my inventory is on the side or at the top or something. Okay. Um, Julie, what do you guys say about this? Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. Yeah, this house screams millionaires. Um, there's a hallway. Where's outside? I don't know. Let's go to the hallway then. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. What did you say, detective? One of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. Uh, we could take one? You, uh, you passed the corruption test? Well done, detective. Alright. The study, is that where we were? Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Hmm, a black light bulb? May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball. Some white clothes and fat beats. When we've got ourselves a good night. Good night, we'll be finding this kid. Black light bulb. Of course. All the other junk is useless. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. Alright, let's get out of here. Is he in the... Okay, so this is the living room. And I can't go to the left or the right. Gotcha. And I can't get in the study. Okay. Can I... Can I just... Hold on. Can I use this and that? I can't help but think this cheap blacklight would look out of place in their fancy chandelier. That's not the point, you jerk. Alright. So we need to find a phone. Let's go upstairs. No? Oh, the attic. I didn't want to go up there, but whatever. We'll do it. Paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Alright, I'll take it. Box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Hmm, may not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Hint, hint. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. A mysterious door! What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. It doesn't. I don't want to go in there yet. I don't know if I can return. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Alright, well, I don't want to go... Dark side doorway? Holy cow. Um, I don't want to go in there yet, guys. This is Jones. Um... Hello, can I ask... My baby, my baby's gone. Is there any... You have to find her. Um, there's a creep. Have you found her? Have you found my baby? Uh, not yet, but I, I want to ask... You have to find her. Please find my baby. My baby, yo. Oh. Alright. Got it. Find her. Well, tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid know-nothing bear. I bet you there's something in the bear. Seems like a bad idea to me. 
Yeah, whatever. This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? Uh, I'll put out an APB then. No, Dooley, don't do that. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. Damn! I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Wait. One, two, three, four. It's only got four legs, Dooley! This is no time for art, detective. Blacklight, this looks useful. A blacklight marker, okay. Alright, well, that might come in handy. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Okay, good to know. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have Runoff too. Some people like pink, man. Um, I was hoping I could draw on the wall. That's a rookie mistake? Oh no, not on my watch. Okay, let's get out of here. Places fancy deserve something nicer than plastic flowers. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. This is not real. I mean, back then, this was not an odd place to put the telephone, to be honest. I'd better check Roy's alibi. Hello? Uh, is this Bell's? Bell's, uh, Busty Bell's Booty Boutique? Uh, Busty Bell's Boosom Bordello? Boosom? Boosom. Oh my god. Busty Bell's Bun? Yes, would have been enough. I'm a thorough woman. No question left unanswered, no desire unfulfilled, no fantasy unexplored. No... I, I get the picture. Uh, are you sure? I could send you one if you'd like. Uh, was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? Couldn't say. Client confidentiality. Uh, these are concealed. Sometimes in masks. This is a police matter. I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Frankie McQueen of the Dark Side Division? Uh, yeah? Tell Dooley I said hello. I'm glad this screen resolution doesn't let you make out that I'm blushing. Wow, we're breaking the fourth wall now. Happy to help a friend do of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was here in here last night. Roy Boy. Some questions, even a badge won't get you answered. Uh, goodbye. That's all I need for now. Well, if you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I got an achievement for that. And I got a sneeze. Hello! Tell me about Alice. Uh, she's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Nanny McFiend. That's, that's not voting well. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. How long have you been working for the Jones? <laughs> Jones is his detective. Thank you, Dooley. That's what I was thinking, too. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer my question. Well, long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Of course. Uh, say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes! Well, may I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. That means there's something incriminating elsewhere! Well, what can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing! Not a thing! It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. She's as suspicious as fuck. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work. And nothing else. Obviously guilty, which means she's obviously not. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. That nanny's beautiful. Ask her if she's single, you know, as part of the investigation. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Seems impolite to go rifling around somebody's drawers uninvited. We're police! Waterbed? Very fancy. Do people still make water beds? I thought that was like old school. 
Also, did they have water beds back in the 40s? Is this actually in the 40s? I don't know. It felt very 40s-ish to me. Uh, looks like something has been kicked under here. Uh, no it doesn't. Strange page. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult of du for Dummies book. Alright. You're blocking this photo there, Dooley. And hey, Presto, we're in. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern. Seems it has some oil left, too. I'll take that. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. I can't take it? Nice collection of books. It does suggest they've got not been looked at in some time. Shame. This magazine collection. Jeez. This guy is obsessed with Jugs. Jugs Weekly. Another lovely pair. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, there. Hey, there are only two seats in this house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. Is that it? Is that all it is in here? Is a lantern? All right. I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going. I'm going up into the attic then. We're going to the dark side. Let's do it. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what happened if I redrew it. Okay. I, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. I wonder if that page is what is allowing me to draw all these. Oh, it is. Well, how about those apples? Okay, um, where am I going now first? Here? Lovely. That should be it. Great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Nope, we're going to the dark side, Dooley. I wonder if I can file for early retirement. Can I go that there? No. Okay, um, let's go then. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no lights. Um, I should probably light this thing, you know. Just in case. A lit lantern! Okay, Dooley. Let's do this. Uh, no offense, Detective, but I'm not going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, I'll stand guard out here. Well, that was easy. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say... For example, getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. That's what that is? An inheritance scheme? Uh, yeah. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It, it is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with- I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay. There's his body. Lovely. Um, talk to me, Alice. I'm scared, mister. It'll all be okay. Don't waste time trying to sweet-talk your way out of this. Paint cans. I knew those paint buckets were heavy enough to knock someone out. 
<sighs> okay. Can't go back through. I'll have to think of something else. I'm fast. All right, well, let's go to the dark side down here, I guess. One more step and I'll shoot, detective. Now get hauling. Am I... Wait, what? Wait, I thought I was supposed to... I don't know what to do. Ouch. I th am I supposed to haul Dooley in here? Am I in the dark side right now or is she? Oh my god, I'm confused. Do I drag him? No. Okay. Um, drink this kid. Drink this nanny? It's paint thinner. It thins paint, not evil nannies. Do I... Have a taste of your own medicine! No! Alright, so... Are we back in... We're not in the dark side. She was? I'm not quite sure which side we're on. Well, that's... That's that problem solved, isn't it? Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. <laughs> Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Okay, mister. So I guess... We flip-flopped there. I wasn't very clear on that. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? Dark side. That's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Duly, she was dabbling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid, steal all their cash, I said it was a shame, jeez. Wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. Case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed! Alice has been found. I'm Alice in Wonderland, cute. All right, so what I think I'll probably do is maybe one case file per episode, because that was 22 minutes. I don't know how long these will be. Hopefully around the same time. But there you guys go. The Dark Side Detective, you can get it on Steam for 10 bucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.